Good morning troops and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be more vlog based format as, as I thought it might be a good way of showing how sometimes you've got to get your training in around life, around work. Um, it is just gone 6am and I am heading towards Gloucester today for some meetings which is a long day out in the car and a very very late night back but I have made plans to ensure that I can get my training in today I've had a really good week of training uh, over the last seven days or so good bike session yesterday good swim last night main set of three times 1k highly recommend it a lot of fun but yeah I will show you today how we get things done or how you can structure things to give yourself a chance of getting your training done even when you're perhaps away from home. And I know that not everyone's gonna have the same flexibility that I might be able to get today, but let's see how we get on. Let's move people, let's go. Where we go, no one knows. So one of the downsides to being an eco-warrior, like what I is, is that if you have got a super long day and you're doing a lot of miles, you need to charge your car somewhere along the way. And that is what I need to do now to get some juice back in this baby. So let's find somewhere to plug this puppy in. And I know just a place. Now this is a first for me, and luckily I left well ahead of Shedge. All the car charges for Tesla here, there are four here. I'm, I'm somewhere near Reading. Um, the car, the, the charges are full. So uh, I've had to pull over and wait. And uh, that's never happened before. So I don't know how long I'm gonna have to sit here for, but I'll use this time to explain to you what I have come equipped with. So if you look over my shoulder here, you will see I have a complete bike and that there is a kicker. So my options later on will be, if I get the chance, I'll get out on the road somewhere. Um, if I don't get the chance to get out on the road, I've got the kicker. My sister, my little sister lives in Gloucester somewhere and I can get into her garage so I can quickly chuck the kicker on and uh, smash my session out. So I've come equipped, no excuses. Whatever happens, I've got to get my training done today. But to get all that way to Gloucester, we're gonna need some juice in the car. And right now, that ain't happening. Just a bit excited. Okay, people, so it's about to happen. I apologise for my uh, truly unpleasant garment, but uh, I've got what I've got. So I'm at my sister's, in between meetings as promised. Get the kicker out, set it up, and get what overriding I can. Uh, it ain't gonna be pretty, but it's better than nothing. Let's get this puppy set up. This has worked out pretty well. Quite a sweet little setup. No pedals on this puppy. Big bikes. Zone two ride today. I'm doing the mountain course on Zwift. I'm really suffering today. So I think it's because I didn't sleep last night. Also, there's no fan. Oh, how do people turbo train with no fan? Seriously. So I saw It's like doing a session in the Amazon jungle. Because obviously I know what that's like. Oh, I'm watching a uh, Durian Rider video while I'm training. 
What about people cheating on Strava using this thing called Digital EPO? Serious. Oh, I look like an angel. Those ears. Yeah, Digital EPO. What is the point? So taking a KOM by doctoring your data. Is there a way to make yourself a bigger helmet than cheating on Strava? It's a bit like I'm on Zwift now and there's people going past. But, you know, I'm only in zone two, but if I'm doing what now, 250 watts, there's people going past and it says like seven watts per kilo. You dreaming, pal. I'm not bitter. All right, friends, nearly done. I'm not quite gonna get the full time in that I need, but I'm way more than I perhaps could have been due to this lucky little setup. To be honest, only a couple more weeks where I don't have control over work stuff. I hate cutting stuff short. I feel like a slacker. But it's keeping the momentum going. It's a good session, just under two hours. I mean, it could have easily been a zip. But I've got to get up here, get some real clothes on, and go to work again. I mean, who works after dark? What? Thanks for being with me. It means a lot to me. changed. Story of my life. It's about 9.30 at night. I'm heading for home. I'm currently in glorious sunny Oxford. Oh, I've got a bump on my head. Just doing a charge to get me home. Shouldn't take me long. I'll probably be here for 15 minutes, I think. And this is why I'm glad I got my uh, the ride in that I could get done. Yeah, by the time I get home, it's probably another hour and a half away. It's gonna be nearly midnight. And I'd be pretty unlikely to get on the turbo at midnight. But I'm calling today a success. So far, so good. So I think that's kept the momentum. It's been a good week, good week of training. Two really good swims, uh, three really good bikes so far. Got another big swim tomorrow. 2100 main set tomorrow with the paddles, pull boy and your feet tied together, which is a great main set, great session really builds, uh, builds your strength in the old noodle arms. Uh, and a run as well tomorrow. And then at the weekend, a little trip to Edinburgh because it's my birthday, I'm 21. Fantastic news. So we're gonna go out there and have a nice weekend away. Me and the missus do a bit of running. And then next week, training proper starts. Base phase one starts for real. Now we've done the prep. So uh, I'll probably just start doing a bit more detail about what training I'm doing, what sessions I'm doing what's actually involved, what types of intervals, what that means in terms of watts, uh, running heart rates, where I'm, where I'm at with that, uh, swim pace, etc. To be a bit more specific, to give you some sessions that you can nick and do for yourself. Hopefully, the next time you see me, I'm gonna be on. That's the key number. The technical term for that, for that, that says it's chucking in enough energy, or whatever, I don't really understand it, to give you 322 miles per hour of charge. Now, what we call that technically, is chunking. I fear this is rapidly turning into an episode of David Brent, Life on the Road. I feel like a traveling squeegee salesman. I'm just a couple of miles from home and my intention is to dive through that door straight into the sack. So I wanna thank you for sticking with me through today's journey. Um, hopefully it gives you a little insight into some of the some of or a way in which you can uh, perhaps train. I appreciate not everyone has the flexibility and options that I've conjured today. Um, but you know, it gives you an idea of the kind of things you can do thinking outside the box to be able to get your training done. So a massive thanks if you've made it this far in the vlog. I really appreciate you sticking with me. I'm gonna work to make these vlogs better, more interesting, more arty and creative but uh, you know, I'm very new to this. So I do very much appreciate your support. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video, which is gonna be a cracking Edinburgh-based travelogue. Good night, you mighty fine citizens.